Okay, Paul, let's fast forward to three o'clock Saturday afternoon. You'll be leading Mansell Town out in your first competitive fixture. What will be the feelings going through you at that time? Uh, I think there'll be a mixture of feelings, you know, to be fair. I mean, I think if you look today, you know, the lads are running around like little schoolboys. I think, I think everyone's excited about the first game coming. So I think there's a lot of excitement uh, amongst the players, amongst myself. Uh, you know, pre-season's been very long this year, it seems it anyway. Uh, we just want to get the, the first game underway. I'm sure it'll be a proud moment for you when you do it. Yeah, very proud. You know, like I say, it's, uh, I'm hoping the crowd give us a, a, a good welcome uh, and hope we repay that by, by getting a good result. It's an interesting challenge, isn't it, for you over the next 12 months? A new level for you? It's, it's a massive challenge, um, you know, but uh, it, it's one that uh, myself, Mick uh, and the lads are looking forward to. Have you had to change anything of your managerial style to suit the new level or have you felt that it's been not that really much of a step between uh, Eastwood and Mansfield in, the, in a lot of ways? No, I have a philosophy that football is football. I mean, you have to change one or two bits and bobs. You know, obviously, you're dealing with a, uh, a sort of better player. But um, no, I mean, football is football, really. I think it's a really simplistic game. Um, you know, I think as, as, as you know, Brian Clough used to say, you know, it's just players that seem to complicate it. But no, I mean, uh, on, on, a, on a serious point, um, no, I've not changed a lot. I, I take a certain philosophy in and, and, and hope that works. And it's Bath City on Saturday, a side that have probably exceeded expectations a little last season. Well, the, yeah, the manager's done an absolutely fantastic job there. I mean, uh, I think they finished tenth last season, and uh, I, you know we've had them watched a couple of times this pre-season, and you know I can guarantee it'll be a very tough game for us. So, uh, but you know we, we want to be prepared. You know we want to go and try and win the game and, uh, and get off to a good start. It's an interesting league, isn't it? Because even the sides that have come up, like Braintree and Alfreton, they will be tough challenges. I think from top to bottom, I think it's going to be a very tough league, you know, and we, we, we've, got to, we've got to go into every game giving respect to our opponents uh, and respect to the league in general. Uh, if we do that and, uh, you know, we, we keep uh, sort of uh, improving as we have done throughout sort of pre-season, then, uh, you know, we, we might have a successful season. And conversely at the other end as well, Stockport and Lincoln coming down, you're getting more and more ex-football league sides, more and more, in quote, big sides taking part as well. But I think that's what makes the league exciting. You know, I mean, if you look at it now, it, it, it's a football league. League. Um, you know, you look at the sides in there. Uh, you know, I just I'm looking forward to get my teeth into it, and, uh, and I know the players are. It's been a bit difficult, I think, probably with injuries. You've got probably half a dozen unavailable for Saturday. Yes, yes, but um, you know, it's not for us to sit there and cry about it. You know, everyone's going to get them. I probably hope that we've got ours out of the way early on. Um, you know, and it's hampered us a little bit, but um, it's part and parcel of the game. We've just got to get on with it, and uh, you know, whatever side we put out there, you know, I, I want a good performance and I want a good result. What's been pleasing you most in pre-season? I suppose it's been the number of goals you've been getting. I mean, there's been people saying left, right, and centre. Perhaps up front is the weakest part, but you've been getting the goals, haven't you? Well, I think we've been getting the goals, but I think in general, I think it was to, to what we've done um, when pre-season started to put so many players together. Uh, I really, you know, looking back now, I think we're ahead of schedule of where I thought we'd be. Uh, the lads are coming together a little bit quicker, um, gelling that little bit sort of quicker. So, uh, but yeah, there's still, you know, there's still a million and one things I want us to get better at. And I think, you know, we're probably not going to see that fruition till, till maybe five, six, seven weeks into the season when, um, when we get our teeth into it. But yeah, I mean, uh, for, for, for what we've had to do, um, you know, it, it was a big project and, uh, you know, I think we had a had a schedule of what I, I thought we'd be. At. You must be delighted the way the players have responded. It seems to be a massive team spirit there, and that seems to be one of your main philosophies. Yeah, and you know, it, it's always the best team that wins the league. Um, you know, when when people talk about teams, you know, it, it, it's about eleven players that, that, that there is one. Um, you know, that's a certain philosophy I take into management. I like good lads that get along with each other, uh, work for each other, uh, and, and more importantly, they work for the club. Um, you know, that, that's coming. I think it'll get better and better. I say it's very, very early days yet. And, you know, when, when I look back, you know, six, seven weeks ago, uh, at what, what I had to do, it becomes a little bit frightening, to be fair. But, you know, the lads have taken on board what we've, uh, what we've tried to, to get over, across to them. And uh, they're improving all the time. You know, like I say, I must stress that I, I still don't think that we, we're, that we are at a position where I'd like us to be yet. But... Um, once again, I, I like things done yesterday, and I know that's not going to happen. But we're going to make a few mistakes. We, you know, we're going to have the, you know, the, the, odd, the odd stutter here and there. But um, th these boys are, are putting in honest performances towards the end of pre-season, and I think the results are showing that. Let's go through some of the players that, that won't be there on Saturday. First of all, John Thompson. What's the latest with him? 
Well, I think John's, uh, I mean, John's in a mess at the minute. I mean, the, the injury sustained to his face is, is shocking, you know. I mean, the chairman went round to, to see him the other night and make sure he was OK. Uh, and John's still a little bit stressed at, about what's happened. Uh, John, I think, will miss him for the next probably five, six, seven weeks, I would have I I I thought. Um, but, you know, all we can do with John is, is, is wrap him up in, in cotton wool a little bit and, and uh, help him to get, uh, to get right. So, you know, I, I think it'll be, be a while now for John. What about the other two that were injured on that night? Uh, Martin's, uh, Martin Riley's uh, could be in contention for Saturday. Um, I think he's, he'll probably play, play with, with padding on his, on his head. Um, Sutz is um, he's probably going to be missing Saturday. He, he's, his shoulder's not uh, healed yet. Um, but hopefully for the Tuesday or, or, or the Saturday game after that. But um, it's a massive blow. As well as that, we've got Joe Kendrick that's, that's missing through, through a one-game suspension. So um, sort of building into... Uh, you know, the side that played at Ilkeston, you know, we've got realistically you know, the whole back four, well, apart from Martin Riley, we've got the whole back four missing. What about Reese Day? There was, there was sign that he wasn't on the team photo and that has led to a bit of rumour and speculation. Was there anything sinister in that or was it just that he wasn't there on the day? No, Reese came in and asked for permission. He's, uh, he's expecting a child. Uh, he had a scan that day and uh, I honestly do believe that it's, uh, you know, being a father myself, it, 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 every dad's got to be at the first scan. And we gave him permission to, to miss the photo to, to, to go and see his first scan. That's, um, that, that, that's nothing to do with the management or, or Reese being in the plans or out the plans. That, that's just a little bit of common sense on my behalf and, 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 and helping a player out when he needs a bit of help. How is he doing anyway on the treatment table? Yeah, well, I'm hoping he's going to be training by the end of the week, which would be a massive plus for us in, in terms of if you look at our, our lack of defenders at the minute. Uh, you know, but uh, with, with Reese, it's, we've just got to make sure we don't push him hard too hard. Um, and he picks up a secondary injury like, like he did with his calf. Um, but as soon as we can get Reece Day back, fit Reece Day, um, the better for Mansfield Town Football Club because he's a good player. What about Phil Bolland? Um, he's hopefully he's going to be trained today. Now I don't know if he's going to be uh, in contention for Saturday. Probably the lack of games, but we, we're looking to get some behind closed doors games to, to improve his fitness. Um, but like I say, the, the sooner we get Bowley back, the better. What about the fans? On Saturday, it's a £2 admission for, for those that have got Wembley tickets. You want a big crowd there on Saturday and you want to make it a massive atmosphere, don't you? Yeah, we'd, we'd love one. You know, I mean, I've been to some of the supporters' uh, meetings. Uh, you know, probably some of the supporters might think it was probably a little bit cheeky me, but I asked the supporters to, 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 to give, us, you know, give us a 12th man uh, from, from, from the stands. You know, I hope they do that Saturday. Uh, they've been fantastic since I've been here to, to myself and the players. Um, you know, the, the well wishes, cards, and, and letters I've had have been have been absolutely fantastic. And uh, I'm hoping that we that we do them proud this season because uh, I think they, they yeah, as a group of supporters, I think they, they really deserve it. And I suppose after what's been happening nationwide this week, it's good this weekend that football goes ahead, as many games go ahead, and, and people start enjoying themselves as a community again. Yeah, I, I think that, that's a massive that's a massive thing with with, with some of the, the stuff we've seen on TV. Uh, it's not very nice to see. Um, you know, and I think I think sometimes it, uh, the, the bad parts of, of this country are sometimes play, played up too much. I, I, you know, I'd like people to take the cameras around the football grounds, that, you know, this Saturday, and show the positiveness that uh, you know that's in this country, especially on a Saturday afternoon at football grounds. It, 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 it's immense. So, uh, but yeah, I'm hoping everyone, you know, that that's all forgotten. It, it's not something we want to be seeing uh, at all on the TV. You know, I want to see a positiveness, and, and you know, I'm hoping that uh, you know, come quarter to five, we've got a positive result. Oh, thanks, Paul, and best of luck for the season. Thank you very much. So who's definitely not going to be available for Saturday, apart from um, Thompson, Kendrick and uh, Sutton? Uh, Paul Boland won't be, uh, won't be available. Um, going through them now. Uh, Meekland might be with a chance. He trained on Wednesday uh, in a behind closed doors game at the, at the club. Uh, as did Paul Bowler, to be fair, but Lyndon's a little bit, in terms of his injury, Lyndon's a little bit further ahead of him. Yeah. Paul's still got some severe bruising in and around the ankle. Um, I think it would be unfair on Paul <coughs> to, to chuck him into a scenario very, very early on. Uh, you know, um, I think he's probably a week away, but Meekle might have a chance at the bench, depending on how he comes through the next two days, which would be a, a massive, massive positive. Um, Adam Smith's still 50 50. Uh, we're going to have a look at him today. He, he's, I think he picked up some. A knock on his knee, or I think it was tendonitis on his knee. Um, but hopefully, you know, could be in contention Saturday. Um, going through the rest of them. Obviously, Reese Day is not going to be uh, in there. Um, Probably be easy to say who's <laughs> real. <laughs> Should I name the side? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah.
that's, that's roughly about it, I think. Um, going through the forward line, they're all fit. Midfielders apart from Bowley uh, and Adam Smith. It's really defenders, you know, the, one, the ones that aren't are, are definitely going to be uh, Joe Kendrick, uh, John Thompson, uh, Sutton. That's roughly, yeah. Okay then, John, so just hours away from the, the start of the new campaign, I think you're just itching to get it started, aren't you now? Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously the, the league programme started uh, last week and, um, you know, we're, uh, can't wait to get, get going, really. I suppose in the next league, like, you were looking at it all a bit envious, weren't you, last Saturday? Yeah, in a way, but, you know, it's a new challenge here for me and, like I say, I'm really looking forward to it and, 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 and ready to get going. Yeah, a bit of an uncharted territory. How have you been preparing for it? Uh, I mean, well... Through pre-season, you know, I think it's gone well. Uh, we've had a, a good mix of games, but a, a good mix of teams, and uh, you know, the lads looking fit, and uh, you know, like I say, um, looking forward to it. It's been a strange pre-season as well, hasn't it? We've had uh, the likes of Ilkeston and what happened there. It's, it's been a strange one, hasn't it, in some ways? Yeah, as I mean, obviously that last week uh, was a little bit disappointing. Um, you know, to pick up uh, a few injuries uh, the week before the season starts. Uh, but you know these things happen, and um, although you wouldn't like to happen in, in, in friendlies, uh, but you know, like I say, we're uh, we're all focused on what we've got to do and, and, and getting looking forward to it. Are you somebody who likes this pre-season time, or are you just delighted now that it's over and done with and the, the real business can start? No, obviously, I mean pre-season for me, it's, it's about getting fitness and, and things in. But you know, I'm, I'm a competitive player, and that, that's what matters to me. And it's about winning games and, and getting, getting points on the board. And you, you're playing a part of the pitch as well. But there's a lot of competition this year. There is, yeah. There's a lot of competition, a lot of experience, um, and some, some good players in there. Um, and so we'll we'll all be uh, keeping on our toes to, to to hold down a shirt. Obviously, it's a good thing, isn't it, that there is that competition for places. Yeah, it's always good. You know, it's uh, it's, a, it's it's competition everywhere across the squad. Uh, but like you said, especially in midfield. Uh, but you know, I, I'm I'm confident if I, I play to the, the levels that I can do, then uh, it'll, I'll, I'll be fine. As I said earlier, it's a bit of uncharted territory. Saturday at home, Bath City, I suppose you don't really know a lot about them. They, they did pretty well last season in the Blue Square Prem. Yeah, no, to, to be honest, I don't know too much about them, but uh, this week uh, the manager and, uh, and Mickey have, have worked on a few things about um, what they'll be coming with. Um, and so we've got a rough idea and a gauge to, to what they're going to be like and, and, and know what kind of uh, you know, tactics they're going to be coming with, really. And what about the fans? Have they, they put you to their bosom yet? Because, of course, you were part of the Huddersfield side at the Millennium Stadium. Have they forgiven you yet? Uh, I, I don't know. I'd like to think so. Uh, like I say, I'm, I'm fully focused on Mansfield now, and, and, and that's it's the next chapter of my career. And you know, hopefully, I, I can I can go forward with them. What is your memories of that day down at the Millennium Stadium? I mean, well, you were lucky, weren't you? Mansfield should have won the goal, <laughs> shouldn't they? Uh, yeah, you could you could say that. I mean, obviously, the, the last minute that nearly uh, that, that that never was type thing. Uh, but you know, obviously, then we went on to, to win on penalties. Um, but you know, like I say, that, that's it's memories. It's in the past, and it, I'm, I'm focused on what, what's happening now and in, the, in, in the future. It's odd, isn't it, when you look through the years, how a game can change things. Uh, Mansfield, from there, went down. Where you know, went, and now in the blue square, Huddersfield moved up a bit. Mm -hmm. It shows just how big that game was, doesn't it? It does, and I think that's that's the whole thing with football. Is it's, it's very fine lines, uh, failure and success, and, and, and where that can take you. Um, but like I say. Um, you don't want to hang too much on, on the past and, and what's happened. It's more about where we are now and, and, and what we want to do and, and strive to go forward. Well, the best thing to become a stag is to help Mansfield back into the football league. Yeah, definitely. And you know I, that, that's what I came here for. Um, you know nothing else really. So uh, that, that, that's what I'll be giving everything to do. Okay, Lou. Let's first of all start talking about Saturday. It's uh, Bath City at home. Uh, intriguing that the last game of last season was away at Bath. Yeah, definitely. I think. Uh, they rolled us over there 2-0. Uh, we had a man sent off, but still they, they were a strong, organised team and I think it'll be the same this year with a few good additions. A home start though, that, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. The last two seasons we've started off very well, um, so hopefully we can continue that this year and uh, get off to a winning start. Conversely though, it is followed by games away at Gateshead and then at Braintree, a new side. It's an interesting month, August, isn't it? There's a, lot, there's a big mixture in there of teams. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously we've got, we've got Bath, which is a home. Uh, home game and we've got the two away games so we really need to pick up uh, points away from home um, but hopefully if we get off to a winning start and then we just pick up points away from home and obviously we've got Luton in there so it's, it's a tough month really. One thing for sure there's, there's goals in this side isn't there? The pre-season has certainly shown that. Yeah definitely I think that's been uh, one of the pluses for the last couple of seasons we've always been managed to score goals uh, but obviously it's the conceding side so I think um, the manager's got us more organised this year and I think 
if we can if we can cut out the sloppy goals, then you know if a, if a, team, if a team scores from 25 yards and will class strike, then you've just got to accept that. But I think if you cut out the uh, the mistakes and make teams work for it, if, they, if they're going to score past us, I think we've got more than a chance to be up there this season. Last season, as we know, was it was a dramatic one in in a lot of ways. And for yourself, there was a, I'm sure you learned a lot from it. What what did you gain from last year that's made you a stronger and better player this year? Do you think? Um, I think consistency levels were better last year than previous seasons for me. And I think as a winger, they're a bit of a novelty sometimes. You need to sort of work at it and to have a winger to play week in week out as, as well as they can um, is very important for the team as, as well as anywhere. Uh, but yeah, if we can take the consistency from last year and the goals as well, then hopefully I'll have a good season. And the disappointment at Wembley, can you turn that into a positive as well for this season? Yeah, definitely. I think that's just a, an experience. It's a learning curve for, for me and a few of the lads that are still here. Um, but yeah, if, so that's what we can we can achieve. We can get to them sort of heights. Um, maybe the, the performance on the day wasn't great, but if we, we can prove we can go on a run of winning games. Um, if we can take that into the league, then like I say, we'll be up there. Last weekend, I was watching FC Wimbledon live on the telly in the football league, and I must admit, I was jealous of them. I suppose that's the feeling you've got of FC Wimbledon at the moment, and you want to follow them up next season. Yeah, definitely. I mean, all the all the teams that have gone up in the last few years have, have done well and maintained themselves in that league. So there's no reason why. If we, if we can have a really good season this year, push on, which I believe we can, uh, I, like I say, I believe we can get promoted with the team that we've got um, and then take it, on, take it on from there. What about the fans on Saturday? It's important, isn't it, that they're with you from the off? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the fans have been brilliant with me personally, um, but obviously there's, there's disappointments that come with that as well. Um, and we've got to set that as players, but hopefully we we'll try not to give them anything to moan about. <laughs> We've got a few walking wounded around at the moment, some uh, self-inflicted, others, well, we know what happened at Ilkeston. Yeah. Uh, how about yourself? Are you feeling fighting fit and ready for the new season? Yeah, feeling as, as good as I have done all, all pre-season, feeling fit and um, just ready, ready to go now. I just want the season to start.